Hi everybody, this is Life of a Nurse and today I just want to talk to you about the new nursing course which is the R171, right? So I've been getting a lot of questions on Facebook um, pertaining the new course and I feel like a lot of people are not really informed in terms of the course that they are studying. They don't know the pros and cons of the course that they are studying. So first things first. I don't know if it's a uh, if it's good news or bad news, but if you are starting the new course, the R171, you are not gonna get the opportunity to do community service. This means that after completion, you need to find employment for yourself, right? And another thing is that you are required to write board exam. This exam entails content your first year until your final year which is the third year and also the college that you're currently studying at is responsible for registering on your behalf for the board exam but you are required to pay a certain fee in order to write the board exam right and these exams they are written annually um, in May and also in November so if you fail you need to register again until you pass. And another thing is that while you wait for the results, right, because you, you write, then you need to wait to find out if you passed, right? So while you are waiting, you are not supposed to go and work. You're not supposed to go and seek employment because um, SANC doesn't re recognize you anymore as a student because you are finished. And then also you are not... Um, recognized as a registered nurse because you are still waiting for exam for for your results, right? So that's that. And another thing is that since like if you are in a college, right, you get a bursary. They send you to school, the Department of Health. So you need to find employment, right? And if you find employment, it means that you need to pay back the bursary. I don't know if you pay back with money. Or you pay back by serving the community, meaning like you offering your services, right? And if you fail to find employment, then it means that you don't owe the Department of Health anymore. So that's the information that I have. And please don't be discouraged because I've seen messages, people saying they're discouraged, they are demoralized anymore and stuff. So don't be discouraged, right? There's... Many good things that can come out of it. You can still further your studies.